Hello, and welcome to part two of this video, where I'm showing how to design an air intake using ANSYS Discovery. In the first part, I showed how to create some of the geometry and set up the boundary conditions and start simulating. In this stage, I'm going to show a little more optimization and also how to validate the analysis using the refine stage, which under the hood is going to solve with the ANSYS Fluent Solver. So let's get started. We can see with my current air intake design, I'm getting almost all the flow to the center two cylinders and very little flow to the outer two. I wanna fix that. But before we make any changes, let's go ahead and create a monitor to show me the flow rate into the outer two cylinders and the inner two. So to do that, I'm gonna rotate the geometry around. I'm gonna select these two surfaces, go to the halo, and create a monitor, and I'll select volume flow. And hit the checkbox, then do the same thing on the center two, and hit the checkbox again. And I'll drag these out so we can see both. So as I make changes to the geometry, and after the steady state solution finishes up, we'll see another point appear in these graphs. So right now you can see I've got much, much, much more flow through the center, two than on the outer two. Let's see if we can change that. I'm gonna to go to design, go to the move tool, and do a box select to grab these surfaces. And I'll select these two edges using control click as well to keep them the same distance apart. And let's move this out a ways here, gives it more time to expand. So as soon as I let go, that's going to start solving. One thing I want to note while this is going is that with these volume flow monitors, I needed to have separate outlets defined so that I could monitor the flow through each group of outlets. So that's just something to note. And if I have my streamlines here, I can change where they originate from. by using this move handle. So I'll bring those out to the inlet here. If you want to look at something other than streamlines, we've got things like the particle display that can show the fluid motion. Also, you can show vectors. Sometimes that's easier to see with constant size, although you may need to reduce the size a little bit or just a contour plot of velocity. You can change from velocity to pressure as well using the options up here. Some of your plotting options will go away when you don't have velocity selected. So I'll go back to velocity. And I can also do something like a direction field. And I can expand this out a little bit. I'm gonna rotate this, so click the center rotate and expand it a little more. And this will show you a contour plot of velocity and also the direction of flow. So we'll give this a second to finish up. All right, so now the simulation is finished up. If we look at the chart here, we can see that the flow rate went down on the outside, but it's negative, so it's actually a higher magnitude flow. And it went up in the middle so we've got a little less going through the middle and a little more going through the outside. So that's an improvement here. Still not quite even, but definitely closer than it was before. So you can imagine making a variety of other changes. For example, changing these angles, making things like making this smoother. You could even cut out a hole in the middle. A lot of different things that you could do to optimize this. Once you get to a solution that you like, if you want to validate that analysis, you can go from the explore mode to the refine mode. And this is going to actually mesh the geometry and solve using the ANSYS Fluent Solver. You do have some more options with this. You can apply mesh controls. And you have a variety of simulation options for fluid flow. I'll just leave everything to the defaults here and go ahead and solve. 
As it's solving, you'll see progress around the hexagon here. And as it's working, you'll see a little kind of white comet moving around there. Once the mesh is created, you can click this button to show the mesh. And we'll just give this a minute to solve here. All right, so now the solution is finished and we can see we have a little purple triangle representing the refine results on the chart here. So see a little difference uh, over what we were calculating in Explore. And you can post-process these in all the same ways that you can in Explore mode. That concludes this video and thank you for tuning in.